A brand new Tesla Model Y was keyed in Denver. Police is looking for these people and it's thankful that Sentry Mood was on on this Tesla Model Y. This is why you drive a Tesla so that you can have reassurance for 24-7 recording friends. So a 30-year-old Denver woman, CBS Local reports, waited two months for the new Tesla Model Y to arrive. But over Labor Day weekend, roughly two weeks after she took delivery of the electric car, two men vandalized the SUV, keying the driver's side of the door. Thankfully, the car records everything, said the woman who requested her name not be used. The car is equipped with um, motion sensing cameras that record nearby activity when the vehicle is parked. Those cameras now show two men briskly walking past the driver's side of the car, each gouging the car with a key. The car was parked in a Torrenton parking lot on Saturday, September 4, as the woman was shopping. She estimates the damage will cost thousands of dollars to repair. Here is a quote. I was shocked. My jaw dropped. Then I was immediately upset, is how the woman described her reaction when she downloaded and watched the video for the first time. If you are going to do something this reckless and stupid, you probably have done over things like this before or are more apt to commit another crime. So I hope we can catch them and prevent more of this in the future. The woman reported the incident to Torrenton police and shared the video with CBS4. She hopes someone recognizes the men so they can be brought to justice. If that happens, it would be a repeat of what happened in Broomfield in 2019. A Tesla parked at a high school was keyed by a woman and the action was captured by the car's camera. The video was broadcast and led to the arrest of Maria Elena. A female, 57 year old woman who later pleaded guilty to a felony charges of criminal mischief. In this case, the victim is hoping for similar results. So, I'm looking at some comments, friends, on Twitter under the discussion of this topic. People say, I never understood why people specifically target Tesla vehicles. I'm, maybe they're electric, that's why. Maybe it's Tesla and jealousy. And I, by the way, I will get back to the topic of jealousy a little bit later. So, I mean, seriously. Elon Musk himself initially was not for the cameras used as sentry devices, but after seeing the very obvious direct hate toward Teslas, he agreed. We now have sentry mood. This is very sad what happened here in Thornton. A Twitter user named EV Follower has an opinion that I disagree with and don't necessarily agree, but I want to present it to you. He says the majority of the time the problem is what led up to the incident. I do not see it as random violence on a car, but a retaliation against the driver or the company for wrongdoing. I'm not saying it's right, but it is often provoked. And like I just said myself, I don't necessarily agree with this view. So we really don't know what has happened. Again, this is not right. You shouldn't do things like this. And uh, and this is why police is looking for these people and uh, the local CBS4 is, is recording the incident, uh, reporting the incident. Another Twitter user, LaceMG, says, It happened to me as well. I didn't have Sentry on. Now I will always have it on. But, I anno but it annoys me that the car flashes each time someone walks by. Doesn't work at night, in my opinion, when you park next to the pavement in a rural neighborhood and etc. Dave Zhang comments on Twitter saying, I hope they get caught. I never understood people that damage a Tesla because it's a Tesla. How is one that insecure about themselves and what they drive? It's interesting. I don't know. Do you guys have heard any other incidents uh, about keying other vehicles? Are they very common or do majority of these things happen to Tesla? In this case, this is Tesla and it's reported, but um, we don't know if these things happen randomly. Other cars are keyed as well. Well, or it's 
just majority Tesla. So if you guys have any data on this, I would appreciate you letting me know in the comment section below. Every car should come with this, not just Teslas. Then the jealous people can be charged and pay for the res uh, respraying of their damage, writes Paul Wilson on Twitter. Uh, many other people on Twitter think this is jeal just jealousy. What a jealousy, they write on Twitter, and a lot of people also comment jealousy. Another user named Anastasia suggests Tesla to invent exterior that can't be keyed. She says next they won't know what to do. Um, so is the Cybertruck like that? I know it's stainless steel, it doesn't have paint. So can someone key Cybertruck or no? I think it will be interesting to know. Friends, you know these things, um, happen a lot uh, specifically about tesla they reported quite frequently but like i said i don't know if other cars also report things like this for example several days ago we heard uh, that tesla seemingly was harassed by camaro driver flow was instant uh, and then there was um, following the incident so there is a reason why tesla classifies its full self-driving and autopilot system as safety features the world's roads are dangerous and highways are even more so a driver could just be cruising peacefully without a care in the world one moment and the next they could be evading a potentially serious crash from an overly aggressive driver this seemed to be the case in recent tesla incident that has made the rounds online the video in question was very brief though it made it sound uh, uh, it, it's around beyond the online electric vehicle communities due to its nature in the short clip a tesla owner could be seen responding to a chevy camaro driver who was driving alongside the electric vehicle the tesla owner could be heard telling the camaro to go and leave him and his passengers alone the electric vehicle owner could also be heard confirming that he was indeed driving tesla the next few seconds were quite shocking, if not harrowing for the passengers of the Tesla. The Camaro driver accelerated hard, lost control, crossed several lanes and smashed into a barrier on the right. That's very, very sad. The passenger on Tesla that could then be heard telling the driver to speed up as the Camaro driver revved his engine in what almost seems like an attempt to clip the electric car as it drove by. Needless to say, the incident was arguably one of the most flawless instances of um, retribution that have been shared recently from an unwilling participant in the form of Tesla driver to an apparent uh, showboarding aggressor. The incident had everything that an instant uh, retribution incident could ask for. Uh, thankfully, the Camaro driver seemed to be unheard after his crash as he could be heard still revving his engine after meeting um, his retribution. Teslas are becoming more and more ubiquitous on the road. And with this, it is no surprise that more and more of them are now getting involved in untoward incident on the road. Electric vehicles have long been targeted by cold rollers. And while it's uh, said the apparent anti-electric vehicle sentiment of the Camaro driver in this case is not really that unique. Um, uh, is not really that unique today. Friends, let me know what you think about these things. Do you think this is jealousy? There must, must have been something leading up to the incident or just pure uh, evil act. Um, if anyone knows these people, you can report to Thornton Police. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla coverage. Have a great day, everyone. God bless you, and I'll see you soon in our next report.